Good day. Welcome to our heavenly space. Take the load off. You know the burden brick you have been carrying? Lay it here. Allow us to fill you with peace you are needing and help equip you to maneuver through this physical world and help you to fill your pages in your book, in your life, that God gave to each one of you. You know the man you see stretched out on crosses? His name is Jesus Christ. He is God, the creator of the world's beloved son. This man's name is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ fought for our life by paying our sin debt in full by dying on the cross. Yes, Jesus Christ died for you. Yes, for you and I and your family. You were truly loved. Not sure if you knew that. Today's category is imagery response. And the title is Seasons Changing. Imagery response is where we speak on a topic and we have a response that the listeners and viewers can join in when asked. The response is there are small miracles each day. We need to look for them. Take time to see the small ones, for only then the beer, bigger miracles can happen. Let us begin. Verse 1. You, Jesus, planted seeds, and the trunks grew, and they became firm in the ground. Roots began to form, and nutrients were given by your hand. They were strengthened. They were watered by your love, and branches began to grow. And leaves, then fruits, started to bud. God, you provided the warmth of the sun, and more and more buds appeared. Response there are small miracles each day, and we need to look for them and take time to see the small ones, for only then, then bigger miracles can happen. Verse 2. How beautiful you painted the leaves on each of these trees, and not one of them are the same, just like you and I not one of us alike. God, you are the trunk and, and the roots is our belief and faith in your son Jesus and his testimony of the cross and his wonderful new covenant that was made between you both. Your son Jesus became our branch and without Jesus attached to your trunk, God, we would not be here. Response. There are small miracles each day. And we need to look for them. And take time to see the small ones. For only then, then bigger miracles can happen. Verse 3. For when we are attached to to the branch of your beloved son Jesus is when we too can start budding. We have times in our lives when we are pruned, but it doesn't mean we are dead. It just means we are being transformed and renewed. Yes, leaves dry up and fall, and so do some relationships in our lives, but those trees are still living. And so are we. If you are in a season of dryness, do not lose hope. Response. There are small miracles each day. And we need to look for them. 
and take time to see the small ones, for only then, then bigger miracles can happen. Verse 4. Yes, we all go through a dryness in our lives and in this world, and those leaves are crumbling, and it may feel like the world is crumbling too. But, response, there are small miracles each day, and we need to look for them and take time to see the small ones, for only then, then bigger miracles can happen. Verse 5. Just as a child places a ladder to a tall tree to climb to higher greatness, we too must climb the ladder of your son Jesus, who is the mediator between heaven and earth. Remember, response, there are small miracles each day, and we need to look for them and take time to see the small ones, for only then, then bigger miracles can happen. Verse 6, birds will nest in the trees as compared to our families growing in our homes. Baby birds will fly out of the nest when it's time. And at times, others that need a gentle nudge, just like at times our children need a gentle nudge, so that they can spread their wings too. Response. There are small miracles each day, and we need to look for them and take time to see the small ones, for only then, then bigger miracles can happen. Verse 7. Those baby birds will then return to the nest as mamas or papas, bringing home their babies. The tree of life gets bigger as compared to our lives and our family trees getting bigger. Response. There are small miracles each day, and we need to look for them and take time to see the small ones, for only then, then bigger miracles can happen. Verse 8. Look to the birds and see how they live their lives. They trust our Heavenly Father to feed, clothe, and shelter them. We, too, need to do the same. Response. There are small miracles each day, and we need to look for them and take time to see the small ones, for only then, then bigger miracles can happen. We ask that all viewers and listeners go to part two of Changing Seasons, where we will go and dial God through prayer.